Today, we are going to be talking about torque specifications for your Victron components. Under torquing and over torquing uh, can lead to problems. We've seen it here in the past with customer returns. This customer actually put in the wrong size bolt, which led to the problem. And then they tried to fix the problem themselves by uh, re-threading. Basically, it didn't work out too well. No. So if you follow along in this video, we'll teach you how to do it the correct way from start to finish to make sure your battery doesn't end up looking like this and become a $2,000 paperweight. Let's start with the most popular battery, which is the Victron 200 amp hour battery. We have a positive 4 aught red and a negative 4 aught black, as they should be. And let's go ahead and torque these bad boys right over here and uh, let's do them to, to specifications. Okay, so that particular battery is going to take 14 newton meters or 124 inch pounds. Do you ever start like on the positive side first and the negative, or do you have uh, is it, is uh, negative? I like I like doing the negative first. A lot of the communications really likes for you to have the negative. On. Okay. So, or it's going to find another path and uh, and mess things up. Flat washer, lock washer, and you always want to do it by hand at first because if you don't, right. it's pretty easy to cross thread these things. That's right, and don't use electric tools. No electric tools. tools. Go by hand. All right, so we're going to 14 newton meters with a 13 millimeter socket for for this type of battery. 13, you say? 13. All right. There's a one click. One, two. two. Mark will put a mark, and there we go. This one we have an M10 or a 3 eighths, which is okay. But uh, if I had my choice, I would put a 5 16th or an M8 on there. So we always want to hand tighten it as much as we can. We want to be at the end of the torque wrench where the handle is. They so make that knurled knob there for, for a reason. So that's where we want to be, where we will get the exact torque that we want. So we want it nice and easy, and we want to feel for that torque. We want to hear it click two clicks. So if it clicks twice, you don't want to keep going. It, the torque wrench doesn't stop it from getting tighter, correct? That's correct. It can keep on going. You it, can click and just keep on going. Okay. Down. One click, two clicks, stop. Make sure it's set to the right torque specs before you begin. So if you were going to take this one off right now, you would use a regular yeah. socket set. Yeah. This Excuse is the 200. Me. This is the 200. What was this one? The, that's 14 newton meters. 14 or, newton meters, okay. We have the 330 neck. 20 newton meters. 20 newton meters, okay. And then this is a 160. Not often sold, but it is available and on that, Victron.com. That one is also 14. Also 14 newton meters. So you don't want to cross thread. Great. You want to do it by hand. You want to do it to the correct sport torque specs that's great if you then you want to mark it correctly you want to make sure you don't over torque it with a torque wrench and then when you remove the bolt if you have to fix something you're going to use a regular socket set for these batteries this is a 13 and this will work perfect yes. now let me ask you this if you're working in tight spaces uh do you ever use an insulated wrench set sure you do well or use some uh, electrical tape at nomadic cooling we do not sell a battery for any sort of electrical kit if it does not come with a terminal fuse right here. So we use this guy. This is a Blue Sea uh, terminal fuse block. It's uh, 30 amp to 300 amps DC. MRBF. MRBF. So the way this works, I'll go ahead and show this up here, is you're going to go ahead and take the nut off there. And you can get these fuses uh, in a range from 30 amp to 300. Now I'm going to have the professional do this part over here. So we'll start with uh, mounting it and then we'll take off. There we go. Our three pieces. Okay. okay. There we go. Right on. So I've got uh, put some electrical tape on the end just because, you know, that won't reach, but uh, you never know. So pretty much all the time I've got electrical tape on the end of this ratchet. These holes are M10 or 3.8. So it will, it'll work on either, either type of battery. Okay, and uh, you know, if you're, if you're a professional, you're doing this a lot using this torque wrench. You know, every once in a while, there are uh, places out there that will calibrate it. So there are places out there that will do One that click, for you. Two clicks. We do have a piece of uh, zinc plated copper that comes to here, and then we have a glass fuse. 
so this glass fuse is going to contact this surface area here and then this is a, a non or an insulated portion here that uh, electricity is not going to be able to come through. Have it the right way up where we can read it. That fits in there very nicely. So when we put the cable on, it's going to come down onto this surface area here. When that fuse blows, it's going to break the uh, electricity that's going to be going through. It won't be able to go through to the terminal. On the back of the packaging, it gives you all the information for this, the RM. BF terminal fuse block and it looks like our we're gonna be at 75 inch pounds of maximum torque or 8.47 newton meters. Okay. Seems like a lot of torque. Yeah. One, two. There you go. Boom. Yes. Now this does go like this, but the real question is that I have people ask is how do you protect this little guy? Blue Seed does make this for extra cost. Uh, and this will go over, I have it uh, sliced. So for movie magic here, we can go ahead and just show how it would go right over this whole thing quite nicely. It's not perfect. Now it does come in red and black as a pair. Now the black actually would go just like this and it would just not utilize this extra space right above here, but it still does work nonetheless. Or you could uh, throw away all the blacks and just keep the reds and use a regular protection method right over here for this side. Hope you guys took down some notes of how to torque your Victron components. Once again, my name's Jonathan with Nomadic Cooling. This is Mark from Off Grid Solutions. Guys, if you wanna go further in comfort, let's go further together.